Tis the season for stealing. At least that's how some people see it. What you're looking at right now is video from the Nashville area. Thieves have hit the newly opened Tanger outlets in Antioch outside Nashville. Also Green Hills and Aubrey Mills. That community is hardly alone and we're heading into a time of year where shoppers are buying big and stores have lots of tempting treasures on the shelves. With Black Friday ahead, we're turning to WATE 6 on your side legal analyst Greg Isaacs. Good to see you. Lori, it's good to be here. This is a time for trouble. People can get into a lot of it when they break the law at the store. And Greg, there are shoplifting cases where maybe somebody pockets an item or two. Then there's the big stuff, the organized crime efforts to grab those high priced items. Uh, they're both just as illegal. They are. Shoplifting has exploded in the last three years mm -hmm. and shoplifters are becoming more brazen. And in response, the law enforcement and retailers uh, are likewise becoming more aggressive in how they treat these thieves. Lori, Black Friday, uh, shoplifting crimes increase 28 percent. Wow. And the statistics are really eye-opening uh, here in Tennessee. Uh, we are number 11 in terms of shoplifting incidents and arrests nationally. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the second most violent state on Black Friday. That's trampling, shootings, assaults. <laughs> I mean, it's it's remarkable. I wonder what part of Tennessee are they, are they getting the right. stats from? Number two and number eleven. I mean, those are are staggering, and Black Friday tends to bring that out in a lot of people. And it does. And you know, as aggressive as shoplifters are getting, mm -hmm. and they try to game the system by by having gangs and avoiding surveillance cameras, and now they're just going in and flat breaking open uh, containers and glass ca cabinets. Uh, but punishment remember, can be severe. Punishment is severe. If it's over $1,000, it's an E felony, one to two years, over 2,500. And it's not hard to do. Uh, it's a D felony, two to four years. Uh, and it goes up and up and up. Also, if you've been banned from a place like a Walmart or a Kroger, you go back. Uh, this originated in Knox County. Uh, they are charging burglary, another serious felony. And so say you've shoplifted a couple of times, which is terrible. Don't ever steal anything. Um, and you're on this list. This could affect you the rest of your life. They are. And even if you were convicted and arrested, and it's not fun to be arrested. It's not fun to be yeah. on the 24-hour. You know, the, your Christmas card doesn't need to be Sheriff Spangler's 24-hour oh. arrest list on the website. Yeah. But it, it, let's say you don't go to jail for an extended period of time. If the theft charge stays on your mm -hmm. record, uh, employers frown on thieves uh, can impact you and follow you the rest of your life. We don't want that. We All don't. right. Greg, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. All right, thanks. And if you have a legal question, send it to askisaacs at wate.com. And remember, we talk with Greg every Wednesday at 530 right here on WATE, 6 on your side. Stay with us. We'll be right back.